Greetings. Welcome to Tokyo. This is our apartment and uh, we are in lockdown, which means we can't go outside, which means I can't bring you amazing live streams from all over the city of Tokyo, walking around neighborhoods, taking to locations, inside restaurants, eating delicious food. I can do the, I can do that though. But today we have a treat. We're going to be joined by Kanai, who's here with us today and we're going to be taking some questions. I've already gone ahead and asked people that are on uh, Discord, no, sorry, on um, Patreon some questions to ask Kanai. Kanai is going to be taking over and talking with you about this. Hold on a second, I have this here. Say hello to the people, Kanai. Hi everybody. <laughs> this is Kanai. <laughs> How are you? That's right, we are live. Anything can happen, including me leaving the live stream on and just came on automatically. Nosh is right, it does start about 20 seconds in. Um, so today we're going to be asking questions that um, you are asking right here, as well as people from Patreon have, have gone ahead. I asked them about four hours ago um, questions to ask Kanai. Why is this important? I don't know. I don't know. But it, people have been asking, why, don't you, why, why doesn't Kanai get on um, this live stream with you? So I thought that this would be a good opportunity to do that. Um, you got to speak in English. Is that okay? Um, I do my best. You do your best. It's important. Just do your, do do your best. best. <laughs> I'll try I'll try as well to um, translate some of the questions if you don't understand. Um, this, this is a game of 20 questions. Brita TV's 20? here. I, I think there's like 20 questions <laughs> here. And then we have an unlimited amount of questions. We have about 500 people watching. Oh more gosh. people coming in here from Downey, California. I saw that. All for me? Yes, all for you. Oh. It's important. Oh. Thank you, and thank you for, for tuning in. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Here we go. Um, so Tang Chong writes in here, does Kanai like hiking or camping? Mm -hmm. Will you folks do hiking live stream together? LOL. Oh, <laughs> yes, we will do hiking live streaming. Um, I like hiking, but John likes more than me. That's right, this is a hiking yeah. vest. <laughs> I can put stuff in here. I'm always ready. Yes. It's my tent as well. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of camping, are you interested in camping? Yeah, we did it before, right? Oh, yeah, we did it before yeah. outside. But I didn't uh, have a lot of camping experience before because uh, I have a sister. We don't have our boys, only my dad. Oh, yeah, you're a, a yes. girl and you're a city girl. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of city girl. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell, don't tell me a lot about camping. <laughs> camping is an important part of most Americans' DNA. This is a big country that we live in in America. You got to get out there, get on the river, get out into the wilderness, avoid bears and uh, other witches and things like this. <laughs> it's a big country. Um, thank you, Tang. Nosh thank Abroad you. writes in here, um, we can skip Nosh's question and just move ahead <laughs> to Rachel Pang's question. All right, no, we'll get, okay, we'll hit Nosh, Nosh Abroad, one of our fantastic moderators here writes in, what habits of John, um, what habits of John do you just absolutely love? That's not actually the question. It says drives you crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Um, he, he always working so hard. He, uh, he editing a lot at night. So I always, always fall asleep before. That's it. <laughs> That's so, it? Yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's, he, he waking, wake, he don't sleep a lot all year night. It's <laughs> kind of true. Yeah. He, um, like, he likes night life. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't like <laughs> night life. I'm up at night. <laughs> I'm up at night. Yeah. It's not really a life. It's kind of a, a, a solitude. Of the, I have a fortress of solitude. One day I will take you in there. Actually, you've been in there in live streams. Yeah. It's my fortress of yeah, solitude. Maybe you where can I, concentrate. I try my best. Yeah, at night. But... I try my best to concentrate. Yeah, you know, um, before I got married, I would edit until morning, and I would know when to go to bed when I heard the crows outside mm. going, ah, ah, ah. That means, okay, I got to go to bed. You, you get into these things where you just edit and you can't stop. Mm. Thanks a lot, Nosh, <laughs> Thank you. asking this. And people like, like, like I like this question, definitely ask it. 
Rachel Pang. This is making me very uncomfortable. How dare I make this live stream? This is the last of this series, unless she starts her own channel, which we're encouraging to do. Thank you, Italian Bombshell. Um, Rachel Pang writes in here, uh, from one of the live streams, I remember Kanai mentioned that she's a ballet dancer. Oh. Not belly dancer, ballet. which I would have no problems with. Ballet. Um, and it can, actually, you're a contemporary dancer, right? Or ballet, mm -hmm. which one? Contemporary. Contemporary. Modern. Modern, modern contemporary. Dance, modern ballet. Yeah. Will she be able to elaborate a bit more? Mm -hmm. And does she teach and work in that field? Yeah. Mm. Do you teach and work in the ballet field? Mm. Yeah. And <laughs> there's like seven parts to your question, uh, Rachel. I'll do my uh, best. So about my detail of this. Right? Yes. Give us all the details. <laughs> Elaborate. Um, yeah. Now I'm teaching ballet for kids. I have my own ballet school in Tokyo. I started about five years ago. Yeah, but before I learned a lot of dance. I started my um, ballet training when I was four years old. Then I graduated physical education university. Then I learned a lot of the Japanese dance company. Then I went to I went to New York for studying dance. Then coming back, then I start my own ballet school. Yeah, of course I I was dancing as a dancer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good job. It's challenging to do this all in English. Yeah. So what time what how old were you when you started dancing? Four years. Four years old. When I was four, do you remember your first dance? I don't remember. Don't remember. I don't remember, but my mom said when I'm a child, I was moving my body in front of TV. Then my mom thought, oh, maybe she likes dance. Then I, I had asthma. Then my kindergarten teacher said to my mom, Maybe she should do some exercise or some sports for her body. Then oh. she bring my yeah she brings to me to ballet school. To the ballet school. Do you have a picture of your students? Do you want to show people the picture of your students? Yeah. Where's your phone? Um, She's gonna look for her phone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Good question, Rachel. Thanks for that. She's Rachel's uh, watching tonight. Thanks, Rachel. I appreciate that. Uh, get, let's give a, if you, if you like these uh, Q and A's uh, with Kanai, hit the like, <laughs> thumbs up button. Don't do it for me. Usually there's like di like six six dislikes before we even started. I don't know who oh, the six people, but if I find you and track you down, I will hunt you down. And then, okay, yeah, we got a picture of the kids right here. All right, turn the gamen down a little bit. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. How do I turn the uh, here? It's gonna be too bright. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Check out the check out the kids here. So that's her class. That's you. Ah, oh, it's doesn't. me. I took these pictures, by the way. Yeah. That's her, and these are some of her students here. So how how old is your youngest student? These kids look like they're infants. Uh, she was. She started two years old. Her. She. Oh, her. Yeah. Blue one, but yeah. now she's three years old. Oh, she looks like she did something bad. No. <laughs> I don't know. Just he looks tired. Like he doesn't yeah, want to. Yeah, we anymore. have boys. That's your sister. <laughs> yes. That's your sister. Yes. All right. She can dance well too. Yeah, Megumi <laughs> is a dancer. Cheerleader. Cheerleader. Oh, she done cheerleader. <laughs> um, good question here. Um, is there any habits of? Okay. Vaughn. <laughs> Vaughn, you know, I, mm. I know Vaughn. Vaughn's been watching for like years and years and years. I'll let this go, mm. Vaughn. Is there any habits of John that, of John's you like to explain? Not that you like, like to explain about. Um, mm. I think she kind of hit this one, right, in Nostra Broads. And um, you don't have to answer this. Oh, great, thanks. And this and my second question mm. is, is, what made you start going into dancing? Um, I think you said because of asthma and you just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she wanted to do something, mm. uh, active. Um, okay. So you could say, are there any other habits I have? Like washing the dishes, which I just did before <laughs> this. Um, she, 
he he's singing a lot at home. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. really? Yeah, he can make on his song. Yeah, I sing. Look, I don't sing like <laughs> Prince and Def Leppard and you know Radiohead and stuff. I make my own songs. Mm -hmm. Based on the work of royalty free music, which is all I can mm. use. It's all I can use. I use a lot of royalty free music. The words just come out of me. They have, they have meaning. They're quite good. And once I finish the song, it's over mm. and it's lost forever. I think everybody knows about it because you're talk, you're singing on live streaming. Am I? Yep. <laughs> oh my. Last time I don't know. Uh, uh, Brita TV. Uh, writes in here and we know Britta from Britta, yeah, yeah. We, right we have the magnets <laughs> and and the postcards thank you Britta always and Heiko uh, hello Kanai we are always very happy to see you on John's Aww. side in live streams <laughs> our question is how did your life change after the marriage yeah. with this very well-known and extremely famous and according to the internet worth 14 <laughs> million dollars which I'll never ever see mm. thanks a lot Nosh for introducing that to me now it's stuck <laughs> in my head how how did they come up with that? Mm -hmm. Very very well known YouTuber. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your experience after almost two years of marriage, almost three years. We're going in 2017, 18, yeah. 19, 2000. And when did we get 2017 and 2018? Two oh, years. Yeah, it's, two years. Yeah, but tw this month we'll start three years. So something. Anyways, something. <laughs> answer the question. Then try to get out of this one. Um, how does your life change, Kanai? I, I don't feel big change in my life. Really? Yeah, because John is John for me. Then, yeah, John is John. Didn't the mountains move and the, yeah. the forest cleared? And, and... Yeah, after I married with, I got married with him, it makes me more fun. Really? <laughs> yes, it's, it's kind of crazy. But it's happy and he's always positive. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't pay her uh, yes. to say this. This is, didn't even prepare, really. Just kind of came in here. <laughs> Jeff writes in, hello from San Francisco. We would love to go to San Francisco. Have you ever been to San Francisco? To California? No, no I haven't. I'm dying for an In-N-Out burger. And I don't even know why. Just I've seen it on the internet. It's like over and over and over mm -hmm. again. And I'm dying for an In-N-Out burger. So we're going to be we're gonna be in San Francisco. And um, go over and see the YouTube office. And all that other stuff. So it would be mm -hmm. great to meet, meet up with you. Um, good, good question, Britta. That was, um, was deep. This is like a gym question. You know, our, our moderator, Jim, to ask me deep, <laughs> life-changing questions. Eric writes in here. Uh, La Lara Zabel. Lara Zabel, Eric. Hi, Kanai. Hi. <laughs> hi, Eric. You say hi, hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. <laughs> uh, are you into anime? Anime. Yeah, are you into it? Yeah, I like anime. Okay. Mm -hmm. If so, are there, are there any favorites you have? Greetings from Houston, Texas. Um, my favorite is Dragon Ball. Animation is Studio Ghibli animation. Ah, Miyazaki. Yeah, Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah. So especially I like Princess Mononoke and uh, Naushika, Kaze no Tani no Naushika. Mm. How can I say in English? That's good. Naushika, you know? Yes. You don't like One Punch Man or Dragon Ball Z or um, I like One Piece? I Yeah, I like One Piece, but I don't really watch a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe I, I might not be big fan. You don't quote lines. You don't remember say uh, I like Cowboy Bebop. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I'm Cowboy not. Cowboy Bebop. Everybody knows I'm not a big <laughs> manga anime. But although I learned m most of my Japanese from Chibi Mariko Chan and, ah, and yeah, Sazai -san. san Yeah, Sunday Fuji TV from Drymon. six to seven. Yeah, Draymon <laughs> not so much. Um, that's Alice's world. But um, I I did study uh, from. Um, I know a lot about Japanese. Everyday Life from Sazai san and Chibi Mariko chan which is also available on Netflix in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, Chibi Mariko chan is, uh, is a good one. <laughs> he, he was watching Chibi Mariko chan recently. <laughs> Things are just not supposed to come out. Brenda Mixie. <laughs> Hi, Kanai. Um, can you please recommend a good Japanese skincare brand? <laughs> skincare. Not very expensive. Um, and what is your skincare routine? 
Thank you. Skincare routine. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Uh, I'm not sure it's helpful for you, but I use Aksenu. It's Japanese brand. It's uh, for delicate skin mm. people. I have a kind of sensitive <laughs> skin. I have many allergies. With alcohol, yeah. Yes, yes. Nothing so, with alcohol. Yeah, I try many products, but I couldn't find a good one for me. Long, long time. And finally, I just I I found the Axane brand, and it I was using almost over five years. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. No one ever asked me about my skincare routine. Thanks a lot, Brenda. This is <laughs> can for I, I, Can I ask you? No, later. This is a different live stream. Okay. It's all right. Uh, Justin uh, Genvir. Hello, can I? Hello, Justin. Hello, Justin. <laughs> what is one of your favorite places to go in Japan that hasn't been Hello, filmed Japan. yet? Um, it's nice to meet you. And John, in uh, in Akihabara last November, right? I remember mm. that, Justin. Um, we probably won't see you for a while because mm. nobody's allowed into Japan. We have a ban on, on uh, everybody mm. these days. So what is your favorite place to go in Japan? Um, and you haven't been actually I have traveled everywhere like yes. multiple times and by the way Thanks so much for these super chats. I will get to them in a second. Let's go through Justin's <laughs> Justin and Tim and then we'll get to that before we get to Marty um, What places have you liked and what places do you want to go to? I think that's what Justin is kind of saying I like Okinawa. I like Ooh. Okinawa a lot Because I like ocean Yeah, blue sky and blue sea But your favorite place I think is in America an island not far from here Guam. <laughs> yes, yeah. I like Guam. Yeah, she likes Guam, and Guam, uh, yes. yeah, we're hoping to go back there. Yeah. And you like Hakodate, right? Hakodate. Yes, the food are amazing. Yeah, Hokkaido's food is pretty good. <laughs> A lot, <laughs> so good. A lot. Yeah, I'm Very fresh. Yeah. Um, thank you for that, Justin. Um, and then Tim, I'm gonna go to the go go to your questions here. Uh, Tim writes in here, uh, Tim Hempstead. I think we should get into the most important question. Can I? I don't even read this one. What? What? What is your favorite cake or dessert? Oh, my favorite cake? Yeah, this is an important one because this could change the trajectory of the All way right. that this live stream goes. Start from the beginning. Okay. My favorite cake is pecan pie. Pecan pie. That's not a cake, that's a pie. <laughs> I like I like pecan pie a lot. When I visited to John's house, John's dad bring me a lot of pecan pie for me. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> like he'll get fresh ones and frozen yes. ones and then yes. mini ones and all sorts of pecan pies. Once you tell him what you like, then it's it's over. You'll be receiving that. Like when you when when you no longer like it, you'll still be receiving that as Christmas presents and stuff. Mm. I can tell you as a kid who grew up I got stuff. You just say once and it keeps yeah, turning pecan up. Pecan pie is good. Pecan pie is very good. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, very good. Thanks, Tim. Uh, we're going to get to Marty's question in a second. Let's go over here to some of some of the people who uh, have these color chats here, which oh. makes us feel warm inside. Uh, Wong, oh, Wong Jeff X uh, yeah. from Toronto. Wow. Stay safe, everyone. Okay, it's time to spill the mm. beans on Jim. No, 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 no. Do not do that. Okay, we'll do that in another one. <laughs> By the way, I think we're going to do a camping episode um, on Friday, <laughs> tomorrow night. So, <laughs> like, just subscribe. We're going to do some indoor camping tomorrow night. See how this goes. we got some st st stuff to cook. All right. I ordered a table on Amazon, too, like a little camp table. Um, don't spell this bean. Is he a snorer? Do I snore? A kubi? Ibiki, ibiki. Ibiki shinai desho. I don't... I don't think so. It's loud. Um, <laughs> uh, Guillermo Daniel writes in here, greetings from Argentina. Hola. Argentina. Yeah, I was there in 2003. I went to Mendoza oh. and Buenos Aires and uh, mm. Iguazu. And then I went up into Brazil. And oh, I went to Salta mm. and then I went in there. Oh, we got to go back to Argentina. Oh, mm. the beef there is so good. I haven't never been there. Oh, you got to go to Argentina. <laughs> the beef and the wine, uh, Tenedor Libre, it was mm. so good. I, I got really fat in Argentina, I'm sorry. 
It's really good. A shortcut sees here uh, on my 15 minutes. Kanai and John, thank you for allowing us into your home. Well, you're welcome. Welcome. <laughs> um, be safe. Uh, back to work. Thank you again. I'm, I'm glad you could make it shortcut. See, I, I, I know that... You, what time is it? It's, it's morning time. Yeah, it's still... Mm. This is um, work time for a lot of people on the East Coast. Uh, let's get to another question here. Tony P. Hey, Tony. Yay, Cowboy Bebop. What's oh, can yeah. I... <laughs> What's, you know <laughs> what's Kanai's favorite food? These live streams are so much fun. I am ignoring my company meeting to be here. Whoa, Tony! That's hardcore. Respect. You didn't, there's nothing good in that meeting anyways. Well, what's your favorite food? Um, tuna. Tuna fish. Maguro. Oh, maguro. You understand there's a worldwide shortage of maguro. You shouldn't be eating less, you be eating less maguro. Maguro. Just saying that. <laughs> there's, so, oh, there's always going to be someone who eats that. I'm glad you didn't say dolphin or and something. green curry. A green curry. Mm -hmm. She loves Thai food. Mm -hmm. She loves Thai oh. food. Like, a lot. We, she, she cooks it. We, we mm -hmm. cook Thai food. I'll put her up on Instagram one day. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's spicy. Um, for Jaysek J, 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 Bukai, thank you. The cool yeah. beans. I love these animated ones. She's like, thanks for being you from <laughs> some. Thank you, some. Jeffrey Williams writes in her question. What's the difference between dakara and desho? I was told dakara is like, that's because, mm. and desho is, that's right, isn't it? Desho, dakara. I think it's the way. Desho de is like Christian. Actually, like, well, uh, well, let's ask Kanai and I'll, I'll fix her. I'll fix her <laughs> answer because I had to study this stuff. Go ahead. Dakara and desho. Dakara is like because. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, because. Dakara. Desho so. Is, isn't it? Like. It depends how you use it. I think that the show at the end also can mean, like, probably. Mm. You know, like we say, mm. ball desu, like, it's a ball. Ball de show, like, it's probably a ball, right? It's a ball, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Kind of a thing. Dakara, kind of, when I think about it, dakara, kind of like so. Mm. You know, like so, so, like this, right? <laughs> I hope that's helpful to you. Mm. Um. She knows it better than me. I just know from failing. I fail a lot. Um, Casey writes in here, pitch forward. John, what's your... <laughs> <laughs> what's my skincare routine? Okay, I'm going to tell you this, all right? I'm going to tell you this. I, I use clay pack. I did from like um, age 30 to age 40, and I stopped doing the clay pack because I ran out of it and I couldn't find it anymore, and then I haven't done it in five years, and it shows. And in India, we do... Uh, coconut oil in our hair mm -hmm. to give us this illustrious glow i stopped doing that and now it's all falling out so i think i should go mm -hmm. back onto the coconut oil and the and the clay pack i did it i did it because a, f a friend of mine opened a shop in yurakucho mm -hmm. um an este salon where you would wow. go in and do do this like self este and you have machines that pull your face up and yeah. stuff like this yeah i know it's a, it's a thousand yen so i started doing it and at the end of the face pack i was like whoa my face feels so clean and tight. Like, what's going on here? I was, I was 30. I didn't need it. So I just kept doing it and by myself. And it's it's nice. It's a clay pack. Just go ahead and try it. All you men out there, there's not there's not there's nothing wrong with a good clay pack. And your and your wife is gonna crack up and, and it feels pretty good. When you go to sleep, you go to sleep feeling all tink like tingly clean. It's it gets out all that gook. I don't know. I've not, I have never looked in it. Yeah. Um, Scoot Feet writes in here, I would be there now, but my flight was canceled. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about mm -hmm. that. You both stay safe and keep up the great videos. Thank you so much, uh, Scoot Feet. Yeah. I know a lot of people are watching. Um, mm -hmm. I was trying my best to take you around Japan, take you around um, Tokyo until we got kind of locked down. So mm -hmm. um, I think this will be over by the end of the month, hopefully. Because yeah. I'm already, I got cabin fever after like six hours. I got the tent out and said I'm camping mm -hmm. inside. It's, um, Scott won. Love the content. Uh, it's great, John. Can I thank you, please? Uh, type each one a high five for your work. Thank you. <laughs> high five. High five. Hi. High five. Thank you, Scott One. <laughs> Jeffrey Williams, uh, thank you for that question. I think we caught up with all of the, the super chats. Our moderators will let us know if I failed. <laughs> they let me know. They let me know. Cowbell fever. What is this? The OCD six. All right, let's get back to the questions here. We got a lot of them. I know. Um, we got 1,100 people watching. Um, so Marty D in Australia 
And we'd love to go down and see Marty one of these days. Writes in, hi, Kanai. Hi, Marty. What are some of your TV shows? Your, <laughs> what are some of your TV shows and movies? Oh. Uh, do you have any that make you just feel happy and smile during these strange times? What's your favorite TV show or movie? My favorite TV show? Uh, in Japan, I like Shabekuri 7. <laughs> Okay. I think nobody knows. If some somebody, How do you somebody again? Japanese Shabekuri? people here, you can understand. Shabekuri 7. Mm. It's a comedy. Favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie that is professional. Ah, the Leon. 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 I love In Japanese, it professional. Mm. Yeah. Different name. Um, Marty also asked in here, uh, are you watching any TV shows that just make you feel happy? Anything that just makes you feel happy? Hmm? My happy? Yeah, happy time. Like, what? what's t any a TV <laughs> uh, show or anything that friends? you watch? Friends? Oh, yeah. Friends. <laughs> Rachel, Joey. Friends. How you doing? How are you doing? Finally, do you make John watch your chick flicks? There's no way I watch that. Except for <laughs> one... What's the one Netflix show we always watch on Tuesday? Ah, Net Terrace House. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Terrace this. House. She, mm -hmm. She's like lost. Terrace yes, House. Yes, yes. Terrace, Terrace House. house. Yes. Yeah. So Terrace House, which is available for every everybody who's watching Netflix. Um, mm. uh, yeah, buddy of mine is the producer of that show. It's, it's a pretty amazing show, uh, and mm. it it's it's a show where like if you if you used to like Jersey Shore and stuff like American real reality shows, mm. this is like nothing happens, <laughs> and it's it's a, it's annoying. Nothing happens. But then there's a studio where the the the, um, so the talent talk mm. about what just happened, and sometimes stuff does happen. It's like a soccer match, football. It's like a football match. Like there's not a the score's not going to be like 100 to mm. 99, but when they score, they score big. All right, that's that's <laughs> Terrace House, I guess. It's a comparison. It's not basketball. It's soccer, oh. like really slow soccer. The score means more when it, there's a score. Um, Marty, you got a lot. Um, <laughs> I, I don't cry, Marty. Okay, just moving on. Tracy Lee, <laughs> uh, the uh, Italian bombshell. Hey, Hi, can I? Hi, Tracy. Uh, first Hi. of all, thank you for being kind and gracious enough to be answering our questions. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Italian bombshell is Kanai's biggest fan. Thank you. Your English is coming along well and fast. Thank you. <laughs> Which episode of Friends is your favorite? Monica's wedding. Monica and Chandler's Monica's, wedding. Yes. What season was that? I don't remember. Mm, I think you it went remember? on. This, I think it was either maybe season eight or nine, and mm. it was near the end. They got married. I think, and then they move into a house, mm. and then Joey got a room above the garage. Mm. Thank you, Tracy Lee. Thank you. Um. Oh, which American series do you want to watch next? What the American drama? series? American yeah. Drama. She doesn't like the dark mm. ones, like Breaking Bad. Yes, I like. Uh, mm, I like. I like happy show. Happy show. Happy. So you're not interested in Law and Order, special special SVU. Oh, we saw it. Yeah, you're not interested uh, in SVU. Come on, be honest. Yeah, it's interesting. Is it? It's very mm. it's very bright and happy. But I like. Um, Prison Break. <laughs> oh, she does like Prison Break. <laughs> yes. Because because you like Michael Schofield. I like Sucre. You like Sucre. <laughs> Sucre. Friend to the end, Sucre. I I like the <laughs> they always played like this cheesy cheesy music from like Sucre's music because he was he yeah. was Mexican. He's, was, he's kind. Yeah, he's a very kind-hearted man. Although he's a you know like a felon, but he's a kind. I think. Yeah. yeah he's 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 got a, a heart of gold that, in there. Um, Sunny, mm -hmm. uh, aka Tracy Chronicles. Thank you, Tra uh, mm -hmm. Tasty. It's hard. It's hard to call her just like Tasty. How you doing, Tasty? tasty. It's, it's hard to. It's, <laughs> I'll never get used to that. Hi, can I? Hi, Tasty. You can say Sunny. How <laughs> how long have you been a dancer? I think she answered that one since. Hmm. Since four years old. Yeah. So like almost thirty years. Yes. Yeah. Because she's eighteen. 
What is the difference between, wait, that would make me, okay, never mind. What is it, 24. What is the difference between Japanese and American dance training? Um, have you ever performed with a dance, dance company and for how long and who is your mentor? And there's like six parts to this question. So let's go through them one by one. Um, what is the difference between American and dance training when you took dance lessons in America and dance lessons in Japan? What's different? So I, I, um, I feel all teacher has their own style. So even even who is American, who is Japanese, but I feel like Japanese very strict, mm. very very strict. We practice a lot. Of course, American practice a lot, but Japanese is, I think, more than more than this. So it's not, mm. so Americans are more fun, I guess, mm. more relaxed, more. Yes, I, I was in a company which was in Japan, which was very, very strict. I learned a lot, but when I visited to America, New York, it's more openly than my mind is more, wow, like, ah. <laughs> Like this, it, it, yeah. And teacher always, yeah, always fun. To good, good, good job, great, beautiful. Then I feel very good. I, yeah. I, I guess it's like the more teachers. A teacher's job, I think, and I was a teacher for kids. It's, it's mm. different world, physical versus the mental. Mm. But I was a teacher for kids, and you have to inspire your students mm. and you inspire them to, to, to fall in love with the art. And I think that the Japanese teachers mm. in general are so strict. It's, mm. it's about like memorizing and doing it their way, maybe. And in, in America, it's more, more so about the art. I, I, Japanese dancers are pretty good. I think both sides is a good, good point. Mm. Mm. Japanese teacher has a good point. American teacher has a good point. Mm. Also, they have a bad point too, maybe. Ooh, what are they? It's so Japanese Just... too strict. American is sometimes um, kind of lazy. Lazy. Uh, at the rehearsal. Ah. Uh, yeah. Case so, by case. So we should. Uh, we. I'm lucky. We can see. I can. I saw two. Two, two styles. Two styles. Yeah. Then I can. Um, I can think about it. Then I teach my kids teach my students right mm, so yeah so you're more mm. of american style or a japanese style strict no do you whip your kids i have my rulers own, no <laughs> i have my own style maybe so it is important to do your own way oh. mm. yeah you can make your own way who is your mentor who is your idol your idol your hero idol who, who, what dancer did you say, I want to be like, um, like her or him? My... Like John. <laughs> she, she's seen me dance, the, the running man, uh, the robot. I, I really respect my, te my ballet teacher, my modern ballet teacher. So she, she's, she has a family, she also has a two kids oh. but she i respect for her as a dancer as a teacher and as a mother as a person mm, so as a Everything. person yeah yeah what do you know this move <laughs> what do you know it? this move it's a it? sprinkler okay <laughs> cool. i got moves that she doesn't even know she's never heard of the sprinkler okay <laughs> I got a lot of stuff in, in... Okay, teach me later. Yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Ranjit's here. How you doing in, in UK? Uh, hi, Kanai. As mm. you don't drink alcohol, what interesting mm. non-alcoholic drinks are there other mm. than the usual vending machine ones? Are there any mocktails eh? popular in Japan? And thank you. That's right. She has an allergy to alcohol, mm. so she doesn't drink. And as a result, mm. I drink less or I drink hers. It just depends. What, what you, so what, what are some non-alcoholic drinks that you like here in Japan? No alcohol drink. Tea? <laughs> yeah. 
get tea and sparkling water. <laughs> she, she doesn't... And... Mm, Kanai no. doesn't go out a lot, right? You don't go out to like a... If you go out with your friends to like mm. a bar or a club or to go out mm. girls' night, what do you drink when you go out mm, with yeah. your friends? Orange juice. <laughs> hard, tea. hard, hardcore. Chai? You drink chai? chai. Mm, I think chai is for afternoon. Really? <laughs> the chai is, res is reserved for India when mm. we go to India. We have uh, coffee, coffee, chai, chai, mm. coffee, chai. It's it's uh, everywhere. You get some really good chai in India. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we got to go back there. What about mocktails? Hmm? Mocktail? Yeah. Um, mocktail is like a non-alcoholic oh, drink. Oh, yeah, we have it. Yeah, what do, is there one that, that's uh, popular in Japan? Yeah, maybe some, some of people drink it. But I, I don't drink... Uh, non-alcohol drink no uh, no mock mocktail yeah mocktail. Mocktail. it's, it's too, a cocktail but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. fake yeah it's too sweet for me haha -ha. so, yeah i think she usually tends to just stick to juices right like mango juice mm. pure 100 percent it's like forget <laughs> you know what oh pina colada no 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 just give me the coconut juice okay just mm. she just wants the purity i guess <laughs> no, I, like, I can't drink anything. <laughs> I can't drink. I can say, all right. You know what? We'll take a pina colada. Just put put the rum on the side and bring it as a shot. You can do that, okay? Just telling you, if you ever drink with someone who's not alcohol and you need a drink, you can say, can you put the alcohol on the side and make a mocktail? They'll do that. From depends on the bar. Just saying from experience. Thank you for the question. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank and thanks so for joining much. the Postcode Club. Is it a new member? Thank you. Mm, I ran it. Yeah. Uh, Patricia, um, Faraday, Faraday, mm. good morning. Thank you, Kanai, for answering all the questions. Oh, thank you. I would like to know what your favorite dances, ha what, what, what favorite dances she has, and mm. is it more the contemporary, the classic, or the modern, mm. or the traditional Japanese? Mm. Which one? And what's your favorite dance? Oh. Da, 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 da. My favorite, yeah, my favorite uh, dance is contemporary dance, of course, because I am contemporary dancer. But I like all kinds of dance. Um, I um, most most favorite my modern dance company is Alvin Ailey. You know. It's New York company. Okay. <laughs> I should... Yeah, it's it's very famous company. When I watched that performance in Japan, I was really, really shocked. Oh my God, this is so amazing. Yes, <laughs> this is a story. The story mm. of a man named Brady. Mm. All right, we're going back here. Uh, I, I like Sakura the Sway too. Okay, Cir mm. Circle de Soleil. Yes, Circle de Soleil. We saw that in Mo in Montreal, right? Yes. When we went to Montreal. Uh, David Kimura, hi, and John. Hey, David, David Kimura's in the house. Mm. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Mm. Uh, hey, Rash uh, Rashad Matthews. Hi, Kanai. Hi, hi, John. What music are you both listening to? It's very well known that I, mm. this is supposed to be her Q&A, I listen to <laughs> royalty-free music, which yes. you've never heard before. Um, but I... I grew up with Def Leppard and, you know, mm. Queen and Radiohead and Nirvana and Pearl Jam, 1990s. Block? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Because my friends, you know, I listened to what my friends were listening to. My friends like that, so I just listened to that. And I didn't ever know why. If my, lis if my friends listened to it really loud on their Walkmans, mm. which we had back then, I'd listen to it really loud, too. I, I didn't know what I was listening to. But I actually... I actually liked classical music mm. a lot, and my friend Tom also was into that. So when we went to Tower Records, we didn't go. We didn't go to the section where all the you know the girls were. We kind of went to the section where there's like not that many people, and we would go to the classical section and we'd be looking mm. at you know like the Berlin Orchestra and the, mm. the you know Vienna Orchestra and looking at the different com conductors, you know, and it's not. It's not cool. I'm not going to talk about this anymore. Mm. Let's moving on. Move on again. Moving on. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rashad, for that. Uh, Ivo, 
Evo Halshoff. I appreciate you live stream. Thank you. Especially now that my trip to Tokyo has been postponed after the autumn. No. Evil from the Netherlands. Oh, no. And so I'm really sorry to hear about that. I know that... Um, uh, so yesterday, I did a live stream with Kevin Riley, and we're trying to figure out when would be the best time to, for people to book their trips to come to Japan. I think the summer is going to be kind of... Eh, I don't know if we're going to get over this, because like we... Yeah. <clears throat> only true. now... We're, we don't go out much at all. But only now is Japan starting to understand the mm -hmm. concept of social distancing. Only now. I want you to put that, just let that sit for a second. Mm -hmm. All right. In, in the convenience stores, only yesterday did they put markers to let mm -hmm. people know to, to stand on the markers like two, like two mm -hmm. meters away. Only yesterday. Mm -hmm. Only yesterday they put vinyl at the convenience stores to separate you from the clerk. Only yesterday, the, the supermarket started to show it. And mm. um, TV shows started to separate the guests to, mm. to make a point. This is such a new thing. I'm really worried. And probably it's going to be like mm, fall, maybe. Yeah, but it takes time to the people getting used to it. Yeah, and until people get used to social distancing, the numbers mm. are really never going to go down. Tokyo is just a place where you're packed in a train mm. like this. It's mm. it's very very crowded like like you're in a like your windows like your face against the window of yeah. the train. No, it's 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 mm. enough now where people can stand, but it's still too crowded. Mm. Um, yeah, it's still too crowded. Uh, Remco S is here. Hey, Remco. Hey. What does can I think of classic movies like Singing in the Rain and those kind of dances? The Fred Astaire and the Gene Gene Kelly. I'm the one making her <laughs> watch the Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire movies and the old ones. I love the old movies. I'm starting to buy them. Mm. Some of them are starting to come up. Like Lawrence of Arabia was announced yesterday. <laughs> it's going to be on 4K Ultra HD disc. All right. Mm. They're going to put Lawrence of Arabia on June in June 2020. Lawrence of Arabia is coming on 4K disc. I'm so I'm like I was stoked all day. Like what? They finally did it. Total geek. So what 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 do you think about those like the nineteen fifties uh, dances and musicals? Fred Astaire. Uh, I like it. I like singing in the rain. The movie or just to sing in the rain? Movie too. Okay. Uh, both. Both. Yeah, I like I like singing in the yeah. rain. I appreciate that question. Um, Alizaris, long time no see. Greetings from Perth. You guys should check out Money Heist on Netflix. Money Heist. Oh, we were watching that season two, right? I, yeah. No, there's four parts of it. I think it was the fourth fourth part came on there. We were just checking that out. Um, I went through the first part, mm. but it's too violent. They're wearing the um, uh, Salvador do Dali masks. They were wearing the Salvador Dali masks in Spain. Ah, They're robbing yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a good, it's a good one, but oh. she's not into it. I usually watch it yeah. I, when I'm editing or in, in the other room. It's like in the background. <laughs> Danny's here. Hey, it's hi, Danny hi, from hi, Montreal. Hi. Yeah, Danny shares all the beautiful spring pictures from mm. from uh, Montreal and Quebec. What dish do you have recently cooked for Kanai Pizza? Is she going pizza. to take part <laughs> curry rice? Yes. Is she going to take part in the camping extravaganza? Pozo calls it an extravaganza. I like that. What is this? Can extravaganza. It's like the like the best event ever. Mm. Um, or will she? No, no. She's going to join tomorrow night. Just mark it on your calendars now. The tent is not here today, but it will be out tomorrow because I ordered, I ordered, um, can I just, I, I ordered <laughs> Light. here. Yeah, look, I ordered a brand new, look at this, look at this baby. This, this is a Petzl. To those who, in the world of lighting know, a Petzl, <laughs> if, you, if you have a Petzl, it means something to somebody. And this isn't just any Petzl. This is a Petzl with a Petzl core battery. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can actually charge it inside the battery, right? Mm -hmm. It's very light. I got this because of the new camping world. And if Kanai camps, she too will get a Petzl as a reward. Yes. But until she spends a night, she's going to have to wear this one. This, this one from the 100 yen shop, which it doesn't even turn on. It's got only one level. It's not as cool as the Petzl. Mm -hmm. So... You have to join me to get the Petzl. Okay. It's like, it's, t it's totally different. It's not even close. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Bradshaw Studio, your wife is in a video. 
I just, it's just, it's just this, this is like her 20th, just 30th video, man. Red saw that, but thank you. Yeah, she is. Oh, laugh out loud. What's laugh out loud? What's so funny about that? I'm here. And Pozo writes in cool. Thank you, Pozo. I'm glad we can answer that question. Uh, hey, Tim Lawson, when, oh, when you able to get out, have some takoyaki on me. Oh. Thank you, Tim. Thanks for the content, for distraction from what's going on in the world. Yeah, we we haven't even discussed that. That's pretty yes. cool. We're just, this is what this is what this is supposed to be about. We don't even right now we're outside of mm. the that. I don't even like to say it. Not and I, I can now, um, mm. but I don't like to say because it, it's just oh, it's used so much. If you turn on the TV, that's better not even to. Mm -hmm. You all know what I'm talking about, anyways, right? Right, Tim. Thank you so much for that. We're gonna get that's enough to get like a, <laughs> a massive takoyaki, like a big one, like the good stuff. Thank you. Uh, Afonso, uh, Afonso Cruz. Hello, John. Can I thank you for this Hello. live stream? Can I, you are, you and your family originally from Tokyo or outside Tokyo? Tokyo. <laughs> from Tokyo. So that makes yes. you an Edoko. Yeah, I'm Edoko. Edoko is um, people that are like, what, two generation or three generation Tokyo? I'm four generation. She's a Tokyo girl. I told you she's a city girl. She's a city girl. She doesn't get outside much. The city. She's she, she saw bugs. She's like, oh my god, it's a bug. It's like a bug. That's like a you know firefly. You know, it's, it's, oh, I'm okay with it. She's not. She's not. Okay. Um, we got a lot more questions here. So last question from from Patreon was from Patricia uh, Faraday. Thank you for that. Um, Emmanuel uh, can't. Canon, how did you and John meet? Was it love at first sight? <laughs> Simon Osborne writes, what? Well, man, of course it was, right? Yes, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Rem Remco just joined Patreon. Thank you so much, Remco. I just saw the notification pop up. Much appreciated. Yeah, it sort of was. We met in New York, and we're going to save this story for another live stream. Um, <laughs> but we met in New York, right? Yes. Through, through, um, through yeah. a friend, and it didn't go the way he wanted it to. I could say that. And then I didn't see her again for a year until she came back mm -hmm. to Japan. And we'll tell you all about that. Um, and it was not love at first sight for her. <laughs> um, Simon Oswald writes <laughs> in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, hey, Curtis Hyde. Hello from Hi. Charlotte, North Carolina. Simon, um, what what do you like to do at home during isolation uh, to mm -hmm. keep your mind busy? So what have you been doing besides the accounting? She's the accountant. for. <laughs> so I've, I've owned a business in, in Japan since 2005, mm -hmm. and she's the now the accountant. She she, you actually like it. Mm, I'm still learning a lot. I I just I I was just a dancer. I don't have a, any information, any knowledge about accountants. But we need it. John need it. Then well, I've been doing it myself with the, mm, the help of. Of course, I need it for my tax too. So I study to. I I I to start learning, to yeah. to study. <laughs> next no from last year one from, year yeah a little bit over mm. a year now yeah and yeah. i think it's important and i mm. i learned from from what she learns from our accountant and she mm. she she's picking it up and maybe in a year or two then we don't need to go to an accountant mm. but she's learning it and that's kind of cool mm. so that i guess that's been keeping you quite busy <laughs> um to do that and japanese tax law i didn't really know a lot about it but i've been doing my own taxes for like 10 years and mm -hmm. i made a lot of mistakes I paid, and but uh, <laughs> actually, they're bad mistakes for me and good for the government. I overpaid a lot, yeah. and I didn't know that. I didn't have to pay for this. I didn't have to pay for that. So I oh, it was overpaying my taxes, mm. and we fixed that fast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> overpaying taxes. You don't get that back, by the way. Um, not for businesses. Vern, Vern writes in here. Mm. Um, hi, can I? Mm. Uh, what has been your greatest challenge mm. being the wife of? A prominent YouTuber. Prominent. Thanks, Vern. We, I love Vern. So what is the greatest challenge of being the wife of a YouTuber? Wife of a YouTuber? Mm. Mm. 
Take your time. No one's going anywhere. He... He likes driver streaming. It's a challenge, huh? It's not easy. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, unusual? For normally people? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> but... Um... <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, but... Yeah, he's thinking a lot about his YouTube. He right. he loves planning. To, yeah, he loves conniving. Planning. <laughs> then he loves to introduce Japan, my country, a lot. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. It's the Merlion, Singapore. <laughs> Just for you know, stroking my Merlion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, like, it's a challenge because I think I'm away a lot too. And, um, I like one of the reasons why I'm answering Patreon questions is because I'm so appreciative of the support over there. Um, because of that, I've been able to afford to take Kanai with me on a lot of the location shoots. The thumbnail for this video is a picture. Um, it's a tribute to our Patreon supporters because with that, I was able to take Kanai and spend some time in Miyazaki Prefecture to film that Mango episode, the Mango Auction episode last year. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's it, it's a challenge um, to go out to what I do, to go out and travel mm -hmm. a lot, but it's it's good if, if she can come along. So she's learning how to do camera work and editing now, mm -hmm. right? You don't want to show your channel, right? You know, <laughs> it's still yeah, private. But when I travel with Joan, I also find a new point about Japan always. Yeah. Yeah, he knows. Uh, he knows well. He knows well. Then he knows. <laughs> he knows. He knows different point. So it's uh, very very interesting for me. Be still, Merlion. Mm. Be still. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah. I, I, <laughs> the only reason I know a lot. She's lived in her whole life in Tokyo. A lot of mm. people in Japan don't travel besides their hometown and maybe their university. Mm. Um, but I hitchhike. I lived in 16 different cities. I've been all over the place. I'm a traveler, so I, I kind of know a, a little bit, a little bit yeah, more. I couldn't go to travel because uh, I was tra training a lot yeah. for dancing. Yeah, I mm -hmm. could travel because I wasn't. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was teaching children, and I had two, two, two days and not a lot of friends. And you travel, mm -hmm. and you make friends on your travel. Um, when I lived in Hiroshima, I went down to Kyushu and Shikoku. When I lived up in Fukushima, I could go up and see more of Tohoku. When I lived in Sh um, Numazu and Fujinomiya, I could see more of the central area. And for the last 15 years, I've been living here. Um, since 2004, I've been living in 16 years now in Tokyo. But the first seven was mm. out there. And that's the best way to do it. People always ask me, if you, if you where's the best place to live in Japan? I would say it's not Tokyo. I think mm. if you really want interested in Japan and culture, you don't want to live in Tokyo. Mm. Um, if you like partying and drinking and, and eating out, then Tokyo is wonderful. Actually, Osaka eating out might be better. Um, but mm. uh, for me, I, I like living in Okazaki in Aichi mm. Prefecture. Mm. I spent a 14... Or countryside. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's countryside. Mm. It was more like suburban, one at 45 mm. minutes from Nagoya. But it gave me a chance to really meet, mm. like... Not city people, but mm. real people. Like people from Okazaki are from Okazaki. They don't move there from a different mm. area. Tokyo is kind of a melting pot of Japan. People are all mm. over the place mm. from Hokkaido or Kyushu and Shikoku. Everybody mm. living in Tokyo is from a different place. So they're more cautious. They're not as friendly mm. because they're from the outside and they're in the city and they're a little bit more cautious. Mm. Osaka is more Osaka. Um, mm. People are a little bit more friendlier down there. but. Um, I, I never thought that Tokyo was the best place in Japan, but it's the best place to be for work. Um, and to be honest with you, if if I had the if I had a ch if I had the alternative to leave Tokyo, I probably would not be kicking and screaming. I would not mind that change. And we have this refrigerator, so it makes it really hard to to move anywhere. All right, now for the last six minutes, we're gonna take your questions. Um, if anybody has written in. Something here. Here's Ellis. Oh, hey, I'm Ellis. late to the pate, but what oh. food did Kanai not like when she was younger? Like a ski janai tabemon. Oh, that's easy. Do you want to uh, tell people? Yes, I can't eat the cucumber. She can't eat cutie. <laughs> cucumber scares her, and we don't even know why. 
I remember we talked about mm. this with their family and we didn't even know why. Drymon sends lots of love to you guys. By the way, Ellis, I don't know if you can see behind on the on the next two. Um, ah, yes. Okapi is a block that I received, a really beautiful mm. one. Um, on the other side is Drymon. Thank you, Ellis. And David. <laughs> um, let's see here. What other questions do we got? Um, Here's one. What were the cultural differences you've had to overcome when you first met? This is from Durban Girl. What were some of the cultural differences? Cultural difference. Mm. I think I lived here for a long time. She thinks I'm Japanese in a way. Mm. We almost never speak in it. We speak mostly Japanese. Mm. Yeah, I want to study English, so I try to speak English at home, but he... <laughs> he answered by Japanese. Yeah, because this is Japan. Yeah, because this is Japan, and in Japan you speak Japanese. When you go to America, you can speak English. But because of my job, I speak English. But normally I will speak in Japanese, and now she would speak Japanese, and now she's trying to speak in English. So annoying. I can speak English when I talk to John's family. This is Japan. <laughs> you should be speaking Japanese in Japan. It's like when you go to America, speak English or sp Spanish or Spanish? French. Speak any language actually nowadays. Speak the language of love. Mm. Um, but in Japan, <laughs> you should learn. You should speak some Japanese in in Japan. I think it's it's a it's a good thing to mm. do. Um, so I appreciate all the questions from our patrons. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot here. <laughs> ben Robinson writes in, hope you both uh, safe and well. Thank you. We're doing pretty good. How, how's life in isolation, Kanai? So we did this, mm. We last time she answered this, we were outside. Now we almost never go outside. Do ima no Ah, Yeah. Yeah. There's the lockdown. This, about this lockdown. Uh, Do you want the merlion? You can hold it. That matches your shirt. Okay, give it back to you. <laughs> Yes, uh, we can go some walking sometimes, but it's different and I'm scared when I watch the news on TV, right? Yeah. Yes. So then we are not sure what's going to happen next, what's going to mm. happen tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of scared. Yeah, I, I want to. I yeah, I I want to back our normal life. Yeah, all over the world, it people have same feeling. How is Japan? How are mm. Japan and Japanese doing with this? Do you do you see? What do you think about how Japan mm. is handling this? Just up for a little bit, yeah. Just for a little well, bit. I don't know. You you wanted to tell Japanese to stay um, home. Yes. Um, we getting change. We getting change this one week or two weeks. But some of Japanese people still go out, still drinking. Mm, karaoke. Yeah, ka I think karaoke closed. Ah, yeah, they closed. But still working and drinking. Mm. It's uh, it's like not locked down like US and Europe. Yeah. Mm. It's worrying. There was a song like "Just Stay the Heck Home." You know, I think I don't think that was that was the name of the song. I think it was worse, but um, that's the one thing I think is mm. challenging for a lot of people. Mm. We're all we all have to stay home, <laughs> and I know it stinks, but we have to. And the only time we go out is um, we go out to the supermarket at times where there's like nobody at the supermarket or when there's very very few people. And we get in and we get out. She she like doesn't even breathe, right? You go. Ah! <laughs> I don't think that helps, but maybe it does. I don't know. She can hold her breath for like three minutes. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Oh, so All right, go ahead. Do it. Do it. You can read it. Uh, Nihongo de. Ah, John and Kanai, konnichiwa. Watashi wa Nihonjin ni mo. Ah, doko ka ni chotto. このチャンネルを見ています。サブスクライブをしています。日本より愛を込めてだって。こんにちは。ちょっと日本の方は<笑> 
ちらには少ないようなのでと,とても嬉しいですいつも応援してくださってありがとうございます、うん、ジョンのことそうだねあまり字幕書いてないからみんなもわからないでしょそうだね Yeah, I, there's no subtitles, so it's hard for Japanese to.、うん、<laughs> But yeah, I don't know if you want to be learning. I, I taught English for a long, long time, so some people say my English is somewhat clear, clearer than PVG.、Um, yeah. Let's see here. I don't know why, but they've limited the hours of supermarkets here. So it seems like a lot of people are also hurting out there. Do you guys play video games? I would like to.、Mm. I play on my iPhone, but you don't play games, right? Yes, I. I, <laughs> I Thank you, I Chris Roberts. I don't have a good skill for games. So, if then, when I am keep, when I am keep, I, I was a kid, I did Mario Kart, but I always fall down. Crash. Crash. Sad state. And she told me this while she's driving. Yes. She's a beginner driver, it's scary. I, I said, Well, we should practice some video games. She goes, No, I said, Why? I always crash in Mario Kart. s、yeah, I'm not good at g a m e but I have Famicom and Super Famicom. Yeah, Famicom is Nintendo, yeah. right? So, yeah, I, I this would be you know what? This is like the perfect time to buy a game console if you we gotta be staying at home, but I'm waiting for the PS5, man. That's like coming in like a few months. What's the purpose of buying a PS4? Xbox isn't even represented here. I wouldn't mind. I mean, I got a lot of work to do and I'm, I'm reading books. I just got one、um, on、uh, shoes.、There's, I'm thinking of doing it up. Like, I, I'm studying stuff、um, and reading books, but I, I don't know. Like, a game would be kind of fun. It's like you could play and you can burn calories with video games. There's good stuff with it, right? You can practice your sniper skills and things、I'm、like this. I'm a Trump card. Yeah, the, tr- card the game. card games.、Um, we had one,、uh, somebody just introduced me a, 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 a cheater's board game for Monopoly where they had handcuffs to the build. Like, there's some pretty good board、mm. games too. Battleship. There's a、mm. lot of stuff that we could be doing here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Maybe in the last minute or so, right, right in here, what are you guys doing to stay? Because、uh, we are all a community here, the 1.3 thousand people watching. We're all a community here. All of us have to find ways to get through this because we're all, you know, like probably sitting at home or in the office missing a meeting. Tony, thank you for that.、Um, Marty writes in here I'll challenge you to Mario Kart on iPhone. Is that on iPhone? Do they have Mario Kart on iPhone? What? I don't know. Marty, talk later. Talk later, Marty. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, kid. All right, we're, we're 300 likes away from 1,000. I'm disappointed. Very disappointed in all of you. No one has been clicking, very few people have been clicking the,、uh, the, the like button. We should have passed a thousand. This is Kanai's、um, question and answer. She's never done one of these, and we don't even have 800 likes.、Um, it's abysmal. I have no, I have, that's all I have to say for it. Do you know what abysmal means? No, gizmo? Not gizmo. She's <laughs> gizmo. <laughs> I said abysmal, and she heard gizmo. See some of the things that we have. <laughs> Abysmal is just like very, very bad. Very, very bad.、Oh, it's from Bob Jr. Yeah, we should get a Switch. Yeah, and actually, my friend, my friend、uh, Pietro. Do you, know, do you know Pietro, right? My buddy、um, is. I don't want to tell that story again. But.、Um, <laughs> No, I, I auditioned for the same job as him, and, and the woman said it was down to me, and this, the, the、uh, person from this studio said it was down between me and this other American guy, and it was、oh. Peter. And, he, and then one day I talked to him, and he said, Yeah, man, I'm going down to Kyoto to, to do a Nintendo narration gig. I'm like, No. Oh my it, gosh. It wasn't, it, wasn't the,、um, it wasn't for that game called Arms, was it?、And、he goes, yeah. yeah. How'd you know? He goes, Yeah, because I was, I was, the,、uh, I was supposed, to, supposed to get that job. You can see here. Oh, it, it moved there. Oh, there, oh there. Peter. Yeah, so Peter got the job. He, so he's, he's that character on arms, the American guy. But I, I was supposed to get that gig.、Mm. And I was auditioning for it, and they said, they said make real life action. So I'm punching myself. Ugh! Oh, like I'm trying really hard to do、oh、this、God. really good. I was very, you know, like, 
I, I forget I forget the script now, but I was doing pretty good. Like, ah, yeah, I was I did a pretty good job. I thought, you know, sometimes they get someone they have to lose his number in the narration world. I'm great for you know this show, and that's and I've done some NHK narration work, but that's mm. about it. Educational book, educational materials. But he got he got the better of me. He he almost always does. I don't think he loses too often. Mm. So it's better if he has a conflict, you know, <laughs> and then it's better uh, for all of us, including except for him. It's not good then. Um, thank you so much, Tony P. Uh, oh, well, we got 864 likes. I I said this is I, we talk about uh, Kanai's. Um, uh, first Q&A and we got to 864 likes. That's not quite a thousand, but that's pretty good. I'm very proud of the community. <laughs> Thanks Thank so much, you. guys. Um, we're going to do tomorrow. Um, we have a lot of stuff to do. I, I have some freeze-dried food that I'm going mm -hmm. to be... We got We have to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. I have um, some survival food. Mm -hmm. And we have a camping session tomorrow night around the same time. <laughs> all right? So you want to make sure you subscribe. And make sure you don't miss that one because... Um, we're going to learn some things that we never learned before mm -hmm. about Cabin Fever and um, this movie called The Shining. Just, just watch that and then tune in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> just call me call me Jack. Yes. Um, you saw The Shining, right? Remember that movie? Shining. Jack Nicholson? Yeah, we saw you, it together. Yeah, we did. He, was, he brought his wife to that hotel mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they started to go crazy because it was snow. Uh, I, uh, yeah, but I fall asleep. Good. You don't want to yeah. see the end. Because <laughs> the end is going to be part of tomorrow's live stream, which you can't miss. So thanks oh, so much yeah, for joining yeah. us. Uh, Overlook Hotel, yeah. <laughs> Th thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for the questions. If you have some more questions that you want to uh, mm -hmm. ask, maybe can I will take a look at it. Leave it in the comments below, and uh, we'll take a look at it and have a good laugh at it. Um, what's your feeling about the new new fridge oh you can answer that one what do you think about the new fridge and Irvon writes in here uh something classic at super potato in akihabara uh -huh. i'd love to do a do a walk through super potato what do you think of the fridge oh i love that new fridge is it too big yes it's very very convenient too big too big no no it's good it's nice size. it looks we're getting used to it but I, i'm still mm. bending down and go mm. oh and yes. like opening it up and that's yes. it's, it saves my back a lot of trouble mm. yeah thanks for asking about that <laughs> i don't know uh again um see you tomorrow everybody have a good have a good day uh in your own self-isolation stay safe and yes, stay uh, much safe. love from tokyo see you good night